Hello guys, and welcome back to another video, uh, another uh, dank, spicy meme video. Yes, awesome. Um, insert, um, insert something funny here to get rid of my sense of humor. Anyways, we're going to be touring Universal Studios. I love you guys. You know what? I love you. I just want to take the time to say I love you. Anyways, we're going to be touring Universal Studios today. Well, there's two rides here. We have the Mummy, and we also have Rip Ride Rocket. So, we come over here, and of course there's another minecart station, just in case if you guys, you know, you're out of minecarts and stuff, and you just don't really pay attention to everything, and you just don't really know, I'm about to get up! <sighs> there's minecarts everywhere. You guys can get minecarts. I've also been, like, um... I've been thinking about put, putting Dragon Challenge over here. Over here, Dragon Challenge. I don't know if you guys would want Dragon Challenge. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. I can put something else over there, but I want it to be Universal related. And then here's Despicable Me. It's not a ride yet. Yet. I might put a little indoor roller coaster in here. I think it'd be kind of cool to put an indoor roller coaster in here. Because if you look through here, it's just blank. There's nothing through here. So first ride that we're going to ride is any mini mini mo catch a ride so if y'all we're we're going to do mummy. And then after mummy, we'll do the crappy twister ride that I put over there. It's really crappy. Let me just tell you. It's it's like a miniature version of this ride. This ride is honestly a lot better. This ride is probably the coolest ride in Universal. The coolest ride in Islands of Adventure is of course Forbidden Journey. That's probably the coolest ride. But yes, we'll be riding this one first. And I'm sorry if it's really bright. I just have to have it really bright because I can't see crap. I right now I can I can't really see anything. You guys can see probably everything. I can't see anything. I can't. Same as Space Mountain. I couldn't see anything in Space Mountain. Absolutely nothing. So this ride, honestly, let me be honest with you guys, this ride took me, I'd say only five hours to build. It was so easy to build. It was. I don't know why I didn't build it before. I think it's cause like, I know what works and doesn't. Did we go backwards? Yeah, we did, we went backwards. So now we gotta follow the lights, make sure when you guys go on this ride and the server to follow the lights. Cause then, Basically, in real life, you get turned. You get turned. And then you get over here. Whee! And then you go through the ride. So, yeah, this ride really only took me... Um, five, six hours to build. It was not a hard build at all. I wanted to stop building it. But I was like, you know, once I stop building something, I don't go back to it till like, another week or so. So I was like, I gotta... I gotta push through it. I gotta. I just gotta push through it. I gotta push. So I did. And this is what I came up with. So I hope you guys like it. And l let me tell you guys something. The reason why I did not include the part where the um, main character is like, Thank you guys. I would have enjoyed this interview a lot more if I got my cup of coffee. And then you see the mummy dude like reach out his hand. And he's like, oh, thank you. And then he looks back at the mummy and he's like, Wah! It's because that part is so annoying. It's, it, I can hear it. I can hear it like when I'm in line. It's, you can just hear it. It's, honestly, this ride is so loud. Like when you're in that insect part where like the beetles come out and stuff, it's so loud. It's incredibly loud. I have no idea why it's so loud. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, Okay, don't do this now, but like later on today, type in um, Wii U, uh, Wii Sports um, distortion uh, theme, and it'll it, you'll you'll thank me later. You'll just thank me later. It's it's basically like that, but times it to fifty thousand, and that's the Mummy soundtrack for you. It's like do 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 
you know? Oh yeah, this is the twister right by the way. It's very crappy. Trust me, I know it's crappy. Look how short that was. See how short that is? At least you get an emerald. And then we get two. Oh, oh, I'm tired, sorry. Okay, and then we get to my Rip Ride Rocket right here, which is, honestly, I refurbished this ride. I really love it. I, I can't stop riding it anymore. I love it. So let me set it today. At nighttime, that thing lights up like it does in real life. I thought that was a cool add-in effect that I did whenever I refurbished the ride. And by refurbish, I mean I took down the whole ride and I built it back up. That's pretty much what I mean by refurbish. I did not tear down the line because the line was honestly perfect. I just added a few things in the line. Such as whenever you first entered this line, it used to be just all red. Like everything was red and then I started to add in like the details like this stuff. And I also added in some trees and stuff. Basically, the reason why I added in the trees is because I didn't want you guys to like jump out, you know? Like you guys would get on here and be like, oh, I want to get out of the park. Like, I honestly don't want you to get out of the park. Like, please don't get out of the park. Oh yeah, and I need, dang it. Game mode's creative. Oh, I set my mode to creative, okay. Cool. All right, so now we got this and you just click it right here. Again, everything's automatic. So you go right here, you're not stuck. You're just waiting there. You just wait there. Because like that's the time where you pick your song, you know? You're just like, you have like 30 seconds to pick your song. And then you're just like, yeah, woohoo. Personally, I pick Sabotage. Or like any Beastie Boys, I like that. I like some Beastie Boys. Or I go to rock, I, I like some rock. Or I go to like Daft Punk. It's like, I honestly just pick whatever. Whatever I ride this ride. Next time I ride, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> but yes, what? <laughs> let me tell you guys something. You see Millennium Force over there? You see it? You can see like the helix right over there. You can You can barely see it. Okay, so that ride kills you now. Yes, it does. It kills you. That thing, when you, whenever you go down that big drop right there, it kills you. I cannot exaggerate that enough. Y you will die on that ride. <laughs> I made it with the drop so big that whenever you hit the ground, you just... You just can't, you, your, your little heart just can't take it. You just, you just die. So I don't know if it's a glitch or something because none of my other rides do that whenever you like hit the ground. But for some reason, Millennium Force likes to do that and it likes to kill you. So that's not part of my amusement park. That's just for show pretty much. So we come over here and that's pretty much it for Universal Land. So let me go ahead and get out and in the next video, I'll be heading towards my monorail station to go to the other parks. Which the other parks, they don't have, like, they don't give you emeralds. Because only, only this park, my main park, it gives you emeralds. Because you can buy stuff at this park. You can't buy stuff at the other park. I know, I don't have it that updated for my other parks. It's more of just, like, you ride it and stuff. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.